Hi, and welcome to another AlterEgos.com training tutorial. This tutorial is going to be focused around the AppSense Environment Manager browser interface. This interface provides management of personalization data similar to the capabilities of the personalization analysis simply by navigating to a URL or web page. This allows support teams or any other IT person to safely carry out routine maintenance for end users in a focused environment without using the Environment Manager console. This removes the need to have full configuration access to the database to perform these tasks. The installation requires a two-step process. The first one is that the installer creates any folders and copies required files to the correct location, and then the enter the environment manager interface configuration utility, it's a mouthful, does the configuration for you. The browser interface has its own installer which installs the browser interface and service. The installer configures IIS then copies the required files and provides a platform to be configured by the browser interface configuration utility. The browser interface installer is included within the environment manager installation media in 32 and 64 bit versions. I'll go ahead and open it up. As you can see, here's the latest download. We're going to double click that. Let's go into software, product, and here you see EM Browser Interface 32 and EM Browser Interface 64. You notice there's duplicates because one of them is also an MSP or a patch file that needs to be run after the initial installation. The browser interface requires an existing SQL Server personalization database, but it can be installed on any server which is the same specification as the personalization server, but it does not necessarily have to be installed on the personalization server itself. The browser interface requires .NET 4.0 to be installed, which is typically installed during a regular installation of the environment manager. As the browser interface utilizes the background service, which is part of the personalization server installation, all of the prereqs are the same as those that you can find detailed in the environment manager installation and upgrade guide. All right, so enough about that. Let's go ahead and walk through the installation. So I'm done with all the, uh, the pre-talk. Let's go ahead and get down to what you're here for, the installation. I'm on a 64-bit system. So I am going to choose the 64-bit installer. And then it's pretty much it's a walkthrough. And it's going to look very similar to what you do when you're installing Environment Manager for the first time. Choose your directory. And install. OK. This is an important message. Run the EM browser interface tool to install the website and select the database to use. I'm going to not make that go away just yet, but I'll point out on the start menu, if you go under all programs, AppSense, and if we go to Environment Manager, you'll now see AppSense EM browser interface configuration utility. That wasn't there prior to this. We're going to want to run that after this. So go here, click OK. Ta-da, we're finished. All right, let's go back over to the Start menu to exactly where we were just at. And let's run the utility. Looks very similar if you've ever installed the Environment Manager. We'll go Next. And we have some prereq that is not coming up correctly. If we scroll down, we'll see that to here. Let's go ahead and click the view. Let's we'll just go ahead and select repair all. It's completed. We've got the two green checks. We'll click close. Give a second for this to refresh itself and then we should be all green. And there it is, all green. And now we can go ahead and select next. Going through the standard setup for the IIS. And let's walk through this. I usually choose the default website and I usually decide on use Windows authentication. There are other options that are detailed in the documentation about basic and digest authentication as well. I typically stick with the Windows. All right, so go up here to authentication type 
and I use impersonate Windows authentication because I pre-configure two accounts for setting up my AppSense environment. For typical database configuration, I use an account called AppSense CFG. And then for the server name, because I don't have my SQL browser service running, I will not be able to browse out to it. So manually input it. And because I'm using the SQL Express database, need to put a backslash SQL Express. I'll leave my database the same because that's the one that I've been using previously. Select next. And now I need to use my second of two service accounts. The second one for handling the communication, I aptly name AppSense SVC. Select next. Read through this. Select accept. And it goes through with the installation. And we have completed the setup. We're going to launch the server configuration utility and select finish just to have the configuration utility come up and verify that we do not have any variances. Let's go ahead and connect to it. Personate. I have to use my configuration account because I have not set up my account that I'm logged in with currently. And over in our left hand quadrant, we do not see any red. So that gives an indication of a successful install. We can now close it. And that will conclude the installation of the environment browser user interface or EM browser interface utility. Please uh, follow up with uh, other video that goes through how to configure users for the utility. Thank you and have a great day.